Hello people, this is Beth from Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at the S&P. Today is uh, Saturday, the 10th of August, and as you can see, we're going to start from the monthly. Take a look at a few different scenarios on the longer term, where, could, where we could be sitting right now in the longer term, and then slowly uh, make ourselves way into uh, the daily and maybe the intraday chart as well. So, before I get started, as usual, if, you know, Check out the channel if you want uh, videos on Bitcoin, ETH, uh, the Nasdaq, uh, as well as other cryptocurrencies and uh, U.S. stocks. Um, it's all available, and I'm trying to do weekly videos. Um, hopefully, that will last uh, as long as possible. Now, as well as there's the Discord group uh, available for free, and uh, the link is down below. No, I do not sell any course nor subscription. Um, so yeah, that I think says it all. Now, uh, so as a matter of fact, the uh, S and P started trading in. Um, I mean, was established in uh, 1957, which is why you see here a resultant line. That's when the S and P was first established, uh, which is why I'll count this as one, two, three, four with the. 0709. I mean, it started here in 2000 with the tech bubble, and then here again you had the 0709 uh, financial crisis, debt, debt crisis, um, consumer debt, um, and then here we, um, on this count, um, this is I think what I call conservative. Yes. So here basically I'm saying uh, we are near quite a, I mean relatively near could take a few, still a few uh, more years, couple, two, three more years, um, a top. That would uh, mean that we might be close to a top that is a top all the way since inception. And obviously that would be, I um, don't want to say catastrophic, but uh, you know, you should expect it to move, uh, to go down uh, you know, with some level of um, what can I say? Uh, strength in the market, uh, but uh, that's a problem for the future. So why I say that? Well, I say that because uh, what I like about this count is the alternation between four here and two of primary degree, as they are uh, one is sideways, two, and one is sharp, way four. Um, and uh, invalidation level stands right here at just south of eight thousand dollars, and uh, why that is? Because given that we three is shorter than one, we five must be shorter than three. Now, once again, uh, as a few people comment, commented, uh, if you're wondering, no, we three does not have to be the longest. That is not the rule. The rule says we three cannot be the shortest, which is very different. Uh, there's this mi misconception uh, that uh, it's also because. You have people on the internet that don't really know L wave and spread uh, this misinformation. Uh, wave three does not have to be the longest. As a matter of fact, if you look at uh, Elliot Rottenhoff's Elliot original works, uh, uh, back in the days, it identifies wave five as many times being the longest. So yeah, uh, wave three does not have to be the longest. It just doesn't have to be the shortest. It can't be the shortest. Um, so that's a possibility, and we'll investigate uh, the move up here into potential wave five. Once again, invalidation stands right below eight thousand dollars. Now, uh, if we look at uh, some other count, um, I think I'm I'm still oh oopsie. So I don't know why visibility or monthly chart. Okay. Where is this? Uh, okay, never mind. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, so, in the alternate, then it's perfect because we can do it together here. So fifty-seven, one, two, three, cycle degree, uh, and then here. That's when it gets interesting, right? Uh, so here you could count it as. There's also a case for a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, um, three, four, 
and unextended fifth, which would fit more with uh, what is happening with an aztec. Uh, but this would be very uh, I mean, considerably uh, bullish. That's possible. And uh, like that. So perhaps this goes blue. Um, it's blue. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. If that wasn't clear. One, two, three, four, five. But yet yeah, it could make sense. Um, also considering. And if this was a wave two, yeah, we're right around equality with that wave two, which makes sense. Um, correction of the same degree, degree will tend uh, will tend towards uh, equality. That's what uh, Elliot says. So here, let's call it uh, bullish long term. If I can spell it. Okay, now. Let's get into the daily and let's see what's happened over this past week, uh, which quite a crazy week, wasn't it? Oh, which basically it was discounted right here, I think. Oh, weekly. Oh yeah, he, this is also another alternate one too. One no, it was the one I showed you. Yeah, it was the one I showed you. So I already had it, uh, my bad. Let's just make this here and blue. So here we have a few different um, scenarios available uh, for what is this. One is this one, uh, which doesn't break invalidation by a matter of sense. Uh, I will zoom in. That's how much, uh, that's how far away it is from invalidation. As you can see here, about $3. Um, so that's possible. A one, two, three, four, sharp, sideways two, sharp four, um, and then upside here. Uh, the problem with this is this basically. Uh, that uh, if you want to count five, then you need to do like something like this. Something like this, basically, which I'm not a fan of such. I mean, wave two and four. Yeah, in a way, you could say this is sharp. This is more sideways. I guess it would fit at the end of the day. Oh, wait, let me just. OK. The end of the day so that's a possibility now it's a matter of let's say this is a count um, as usual I mean as I did with the Nasdaq update which is available on the channel is this a or is this two so does this go here or, or doesn't it um, I have no clue um, I guess we're gonna find out in the next in the following uh, weeks but as of right now uh, same one or the other uh, it's um, it's still a guessing game and I don't want to guess that far off, to be honest. Uh, now, the another um, count that I have, and you probably already saw it, is this one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, once again, th four. Four could be completed, to be honest. Here it would fit because you had here a sideways two, and this would be a sharp wave four. So that would be possible, just like it would be possible that oh, we kept going higher and then correct lower. It's a possibility, but that's the alternate. Um, as you can see, um, I'm still looking for, for the rough side to come, uh, whether we are in this count or in this count. So I'm not uh, saying in any way, shape or form, which I mean, the threat that I'm not saying it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. I can still well roll or be wrong. I'm not saying that uh, I don't see you know this being possible basically. I mean, is it possible? Yes. Do I see it happening? No, not really. Um, there's a little to no evidence suggesting that that will uh, happen. And uh, for the short term, these are the two main counts. This obviously super bullish. 
uh, for the weeks, uh, uh, I mean, months and years ahead, this is a bit more conservative. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, if we have here a wave one, oops, sorry. So if we have here a one, two, yeah, or some degree, yeah. Uh, mm, yeah, maybe you like that one better. So if, let's say we have a one, two here. This could, and obviously this would be, should be moved one degree higher at this point. I'm sorry, I meant this should be moved one degree lower. Uh, so this could be one, two, three, four, five, and this is five of three. You know what I mean? Um, that's a possibility. So maybe I should just highlight it. Uh, but the problem with this is I'm just going to do this basically. Okay. And I'm just going to downgrade everything by one degree. So it's clearer, hopefully, what I'm saying. Okay. One degree lower. There you go. Okay. And a five of three. So that's a possibility, isn't it? Uh, which again, uh, for this other scenario, uh, it's also possible um, that we e either have this count or the other count and we are topping, I mean, we are in wave four, five of wave three of this degree. So primary, four, five, and then a big top. Um, so as a matter of fact, I'm still seeing up, oopsie, that's really bad. I'm still seeing upside uh, all the way I look around. Um, the sentiment seems to have turned rapidly, uh, given the fact that so far that crash was mainly due to the um, ca uh, carry trade uh, from the end. And uh, But th there is some uh, instability around the world. We have uh, still Russia and Ukraine. Uh, now we have uh, Iran and Israel. Um, uh, after, yeah, not going to go into it. Uh, but there's still some sort of uncertainties as well. There's the U.S. election uh, coming up, and um, we have so s some sort of uh, um, instabilities around the world, which uh, could surprise uh, the overall count. Uh, I don't know. Um, and uh, if we take a look at the VIX, as you can see here, over the the crash, it did spike all the way up to 65, which I don't I don't remember if it was all time high. Uh, no, it wasn't, but it was, uh, you know, COVID levels. Um, so, but we, you know, you can easily see what we've done. Um, so as if we keep, you know, if we're able to stay below 20, should be good. And uh, yeah, so basically I'm bullish. I remain bullish. Um, my long-term portfolio, I'm still buying. I bought Apple and Amazon. I added to my position which, by the way, none of this was or is or will be financial advice. Um, and, um, yeah, I remain bullish overall. Uh, you know, we can see some bumps here and there. Uh, but for, for the time being, it um, looks like we are not due any big, real big correction anytime soon. Um, and by anytime soon, I mean months. So that being said, thanks. If you enjoyed the content, I really appreciate it if you subscribe as well if you leave a like. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and uh, have a great weekend.